Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering question 6, part B, from the January 2022 Pure Mathematics P1 International A-Level paper. Question A, which was about differentiation, is um, in um, uh, another video, uh, the video before this, the playlist. And this, uh, I've separated this because this is to do with a different to topic, which is to do with integration. So I, I want to classify them as separate topics in my uh, playlist so that's why i put them in separate videos so part b here it says find f of x simplifying your answer so they told us already that the curve c has equation y equals f of x which we have to find now where x is greater than zero they've given us the um, gradient function is x plus three squared over x times root x and they've also told us that the point p lies on the curve c so this point satisfies the equation of y equals f of x so we have to use those facts to find the equation y equals f of x. So I know that if I want to find f of x, then what I've got to do is I've got to integrate the gradient function. Okay, if I integrate the gradient function, I'll get y, which is f of x. So I need to integrate the gradient function. Now the gradient function is x plus 3 squared over x times root x. Now, when you want to integrate something, you have to get it prepared for integration. The way it's written here right now, I'm not able to integrate it. So first of what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this bracket on the top. That will give me x squared plus 6x plus 9 over, and I'll express this in index form. Now, this is like x times x to the power of a half. So x times x to the power of a half. Remember, the square root of x is x, x to the power of a half. So this is like x to the power of 1 times x to the power of half. You add the powers when you multiply two numbers in index same index form, which have the same base. So this is going to be x, and this is 1 plus a half, which is 1 and a half, or 3 over 2. So this is x to the power of 3 over 2. I need to integrate that all with respect to x. It's still not quite ready for integration, because what I need to also do is I need to express these as <coughs> sorry separate terms, separate fractions. So I'm going to write this as x squared over x to the power of 3 over 2 plus 6x over x to the power of 3 over 2 plus 9 over x to the power of 3 over 2. I can separate them out into three separate fractions with that same common denominator. And we still haven't quite got there yet. We still have to do something for us to be able to integrate this. And that is express this as just x terms on the numerator Okay, um, you know, no x is in the denominator, so I'm going to use my laws of indices again. This is x squared divided by x to the power of 3 over 2. So it's like x to the power of 2 divided by x to the power of 3 over 2. I have to subtract the powers. 2 minus 3 over 2 is a half. So that's going to give me x to the power of a half plus 6 times. And it's x. this is x divided by x to the power of 3 over 2. Now this x is like x to the power of 1. So it's 1 minus 3 over 2, which is a negative a half. So this is x to the power of negative a half. So this is 6x to the power of negative a half. Plus, and now I want to express this x term in the numerator. So this is going to be x to the power of negative 3 over 2. Um, as we know, a to the power of minus m is the same as 1 over a to the power of m. You know, this, this is a reciprocal, basically. And the negative power means reciprocal. So I'll write this with a negative power. So all my x terms are now in the numerators. Now it's ready to be integrated all the third form things everything in terms of um, square roots is now written in terms of um, indices and all the, the terms are in the numerator and any you know square brackets any brackets are expanded I have separate terms which I can now integrate each term separately so to integrate what I need to do is add one to the power and divide by the new power so a half plus one is three over two so this x to the power of three over two divided by um, 3 over 2, sorry, divided by 3 over 2. So you, you, you add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. And this is going to be plus 6x. You add 1 to the power, so that's going to give you um, a half. Minus 1 plus a half is a half. Divide by the new power, which is a half, plus 9x. You add 1 to negative 3 over 2, you get negative a half. Divided by negative a half. And don't forget the constant of integration. Very, very important in this question. So this is like y equals, y equals, y equals. Okay, this is y. 
Okay, so the constant integration is very, very important in this question to write down. So you have y equals, now let's just simplify this. When you divide something by a fraction, you multiply by its reciprocal. So this is multiplying by 2 thirds. So 2 thirds x to the power of 3 over 2. 6 divided by a half is like 6 times 2, which is going to be 12. So that's 12x to the power of a half. And you're going to have positive divided by negative, which is negative. And 9 divided by a half, which is 9 times 2, which is 18. So 18x to the power of negative a half plus c. So we're almost there. We've got the right form for the equation. We just have to find the value of c. Now we know in this question that the point p, 420, lies on the curve. So p, 420, this, this is the you know, point that satisfies the equation of this curve. So if I replace the x with 4 and the, you know, um, the y with 20, basically if I replace x with 4, then what's going to come out is 20 because this point satisfies this curve, it's on the curve. So replacing x equals 4 into this curve will give me an output for y equals 20. So it means that when x equals 4, y equals 20, so I can substitute those values in. So 20 equals 2 thirds. I'm going to rewrite this in index form. This is like whatever's there, the square root and cubed. So this is 4 cubed under the square root plus 12, this is like the square root of x, and x is 4, so the square root of 4 minus, and this, if you remember what we just mentioned here, the negative index is like 18 over x to the power of a half, which is x to the x to the power of, um, 18 over x to the power of a half, okay, and um, that means the square root of x, x is 4, so the square root of 4 plus c. Now we should be able to find what c is because this is only unknown, everything else is known. So we have 20 equals 2 thirds times... Now this is the square root of 4, which is 2, 2 cubed is 8, plus 12 times the square root of 4, which is 2, 12 times 2 is 24, minus 18 divided by the square root of 4, which is 2, 18 divided by 2 is 9, plus c. So we're going to end up here with um, 20 minus 24 plus 9. Let's just simplify this first before we do it. We have 20 equals that 16 over 3 plus 24 minus 9 is going to be 15 plus c. So now we can say that c is equal to, you have 20 minus 15, which is 5 minus 16 over 3. So c is equal to 15 over 3 minus 16 over 3. So c is equal to negative one third. So now we can say our equation is f of x is equal to, so we have everything here, 2 thirds x to the power of 3 over 2. 2 thirds x to the power of 3 over 2. And we have here um, plus 12x to the power of a half. 12x to the power of a half. And then we're going to have um, minus 18x to the power of negative a half. Minus 18x to the power of negative a half. And plus c, which is minus 1 third. And there we have our, <coughs> our answer to this question, which is part b of... Um, question six from this January 2022 Pure Mathematics P1 paper. Um, other questions from this paper can be found in the link that should appear in this area over here. Other questions from integration of P1 uh, can be found in the link that should appear in this area. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link over here. Thank you for watching and see you soon.